some stuff from there as well so there'll be like first reactions because I haven't seen them. Eyes are at first, most guided and most self fridge as well. Get started! Before I do start the video, if you do like it please could you give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe. At the moment I'm not really able to like post much because of exams but in summer I've got loads of travel vlogs coming in. I can do way more fashion videos, challenges, like I'm loving doing challenges. Right. So the first thing we have, I don't know if you've been on Pretty Little Thing recently but they have this top in literally every colour. All of my mates have it in leopard like print and I've just seen it in pink. Oh, okay. So it's kind of not doing it justice. I'm gonna have to like tie it around. It's basically hold a neck, O ring, light pink, detail top, and you tie this around. You can either tie it back around the front or keep it at the back. £10. Should be cute. Excited to try that on. Okay, so excuse my hair, excuse my face. It's the next day. I don't have time to film the try on stuff. So I have the first top on. It's quite cute. I really like the O ring detail. And basically, because you can tie it with yourself, you can tie it to as tight as you want. I've tied a bow at the back. I would say it's definitely worth £10, especially because Pretty Little Thing usually has 20% off if you're a student or sometimes they'll do a deep. I don't know about the colour though. I feel like light colours like this always wash me out. Light pink sometimes. Doesn't. I don't know. I think it is cute. Let me know. Next thing, I actually got the same thing in neon. Now, I'm not being funny. It's very bright. Like, are we seeing? I know what the lighting's doing in here. I feel like the lighting might be a bit tragic. I don't know how to maybe close the blinds. Is that better? I feel like it might be better. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, yeah, so I'm just thinking she's quite a luminous. Literally the same thing. So it's £10. Oh my god, it looks like a butterfly. Oh, wow. But yeah, um, oh. oh my god, she's in a size 6, both of them are in a size 6. I'll let you know my feedback of that in a moment. Okay, we're now going to have hair up because it's easier. This is the neon one, it's the same as the last one. Definitely prefer this colour to the last one. I was saying how nice it is to be able to tie it yourself, but I have spent so long getting these tops. On and off. I don't want to keep them purely because of how long they take to get on and off. I've tied it too tight at the top and not tight enough at the back. Like I feel like it's falling down at the back. It should be like tighter at the back. I just want the top to be like I'm lazy. I just want the top to be tied for me. I do definitely prefer this colour though, but it's really luminous. But like one of those lollipop ladies. <laughs> That's how luminous it is. Like I wasn't expecting it to be this in your face. I still like the sort of like shape and cut of it. Okay, so the next thing is actually a little day dress. I love no. day dresses for summer. They're just so easy to put on, aren't they? It's in this like corset detailing down the middle, which I'm in Loving. like corset style stuff. I'm scared she's like quite, you can, oh wow, well, okay, I can see the camera. Okay, well, um, I can wear cycling shorts underneath. She's also in a size six, and she was 25 pounds. Mm, I can't tell if that's expensive or not. It's quite a thin material, but I guess it's a nice material. It's got cute little frilled sleeves, frilled hem at the bottom as well. We'll see, we'll see what she looks like. Okay, so we're in this dress. Actually, really, really cute. One thing I'll say is these sleeves are like, I don't think they sit right. I think they're too long, so when they puff out, they're puffing out too far. Full a bit. I've gone for a no bra situation because I don't think it would have fit if I put one on. But because this, like, there's a little corset detail, and again, you tie it yourself, it kind of like, if you try it tight enough, it's kind of like supportive anyway. It's really, like, ridiculously flattering on the bum, I think it's the way this, where the corset is, like, attached to the material, it ties it in. So it's making me look like. I'm not thicker than I actually am. And I really like the frill at the bottom. I don't know if I'll keep it purely because this bit just doesn't really sit right with me. I reckon it's probably because I'm not in the holiday vibe yet. This for dinner by the beach would be so nice. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. I love the pattern as well. It's like a nice little cute flower pattern. Really pretty. Next up, 
up, we have another cute patterned thing. I saw this and oh again, it ties up. Oh my God, this I can just tell this is not gonna fit. I just thought it was so cute. So you tie it up around here, do a little bow. Got nice little frilled sleeves again up here. Different necklines, quite thin at the back. Not much material at the back. I'm guessing this is size six. Maybe I should have gone for a size eight. Yeah, size six. Just yellow paisley, tie front bralette. Oh, they've been sneaky with that one. Maybe it's expensive, it's got one of these things on it. It was... I £15. It's not bad. I mean, not that much material for £15. But, you know what? I think she's going to be really cute. Okay, so we have this one. Now, this one I had to tie again, which was annoying, but at least it was only one tie this time, and it was at the front. So, it was easier. I actually love it. I think it's such a cute little, like, holiday top. I don't usually wear, like, frills, but I really, really like it. I think this, just, like, on the beat, a maxi skirt, or no, like, a little white denim skirt, just with, like, flip-flops and sandals and stuff. I'd wear it out as well, probably, like, only in summer. I feel like it's very summery top. It's really cute. I feel like I'm gonna fly away. Next, we have a cute little pair of shorts. Let's see what they do. I just look in summer like you just want me comfy. I thought these look so comfy. Love look print as per. Um, I feel like you could dress them up and dress them down. Do you know what I mean? Like you could put black heels on like a black bralette or maybe like a black bodysuit. And then also you could dress it down. White trainers would look so nice with this with a little, like white crop. These are on a size six again. Satin. Oh wow. I've put them like down and they're very they come out quite a lot. Ooh. And these were 15 pounds, that's really good. Elasticated waist, so fit a lot of people. Yeah, excited to try them. So these shorts are really comfy. Like, honestly, I feel so easy breezy. They just dance. Oh, these would be so nice to go out in. However, they're so floaty that I'm scared if you fell or if you bent over, you'd have an issue. Right. And they're not very flattering from the back. Like a but they are so comfy like these to wear around the house like pajama <gasps> i'd so wear these as pajama shorts or maybe not to go out in because they're a bit too loosey-goosey next we have this skirt lovely i thought this was going to be the case this said it was a denim skirt this is not denim let me have you know how can they call that denim it's not denim it's like a thin i mean it's a really cool skirt i've got such a sick belt to go with it that goes with trousers that i've bought it's not denim like it bit triggers me a bit like why are you calling it denim if it's not denim it's, i love when skirts have this little bit at the back I'm it's just a nice cargo sand utility skirt. Cheeky little slit. So I don't know what that's gonna be like when we walk. We'll have to give that a go. A lovely big pockets. I think it'll be nice, although it's very thin material, so it could just look a bit saggy. Let me see how much it was. Twenty pounds. It looks a lot lighter in the photo, like a, a lighter sand colour. This looks more like a beige. I will go with it. We'll rock it. We'll see what it looks like. So you have the denim skirt that's not denim it's so long <laughs> it's so annoying i had this problem in like river island and primark the other day like from the back that's just not a vibe like it's just so long it's really cool though although the color's a bit odd i think the color needs to be lighter because this just like blends into the skin i really do like the design though i guess they've probably made it longer so they can have this here i think i'd just rather not have it or have it like really small I don't even know what the material is, but I could kind of see on the model it wasn't going to be done. It probably would crease quite easily as well. It is nice. It's a cool design. Just not really for me. Let's have another skirt. Yes. Okay. We have a khaki distressed mini denim skirt with white contrast stitching. I love the look of this. This is actually denim. However, I have this in red. I wore it once or maybe twice and it ripped because it's so distressed it ripped straight from the hem to the the hole straight from there to there and now if i want to wear it out i have to sew it up every time and then it ripped by the end of the night so i'm worried about the safety of of the skirt i'm worried about its health and safety i'm worried about whether she's gonna get home after a night out i don't think she will it's just cute anyway do you know she, uh, i love khaki i feel like it just goes with the whole cargo vibes that Still in. It was fifteen pounds. It's probably white rips. This was a size six as well, and literally everything I got in a size six. We have the khaki one on, and I do love it. Like it is really nice. It's been really tight though. Like this is a lot tighter than the last denim skirt I put on. This is actually denim. Most denim skirts kind of like full, whereas this is like on me. Maybe I've just got too big a size, but I think it would be too 
being too small a size. I think it'd be too big around the waist. I've just got big trunk fives, which is lovely. I really love the like cut of it and the fit. Like it's really nice. Really like the colour as well. I really do like the way this comes. So the other one like went up at the that area and the other one goes down. This one goes down. It's nice to like cover that bit up. Okay, one last thing. This is a I'm not gonna lie, this is the second pretty little thing haul that I've done when I've been sent the wrong trainer. <laughs> I can't remember exactly, but these might have been the trainers that I ordered in the first one. They're a size 38, and I think that is a size 5. I'll put a try on clip. I'll show you a picture of the ones I wanted, which were kind of like panelled, like sports panel. Although I think these are more expensive than the ones that I ordered, so. <laughs> Makes me kind of want to keep them, because they're a bargain. I do really like the style of these. Kind of like boots, but low rise. Like obviously not high rise and i really need some new white trainers because all of mine are trashed i'm going out let me know because i don't know whether to keep these or not okay so we have the trainers on they're quite cute i think i don't really know i think they were going to be more expensive than the ones i got i got them for 20 quid and i'm pretty sure these ones are like 40 pounds maybe on the website so it makes me really tempted to keep them quite big on my feet but then they're actually small so that my toes are curled up a bit but they look big if you know what i mean they make me quite tall i think they're just a bit Cloudy. So that's everything from what I've just ordered and haven't tried yet. And I actually have one more thing from Pretty Little Thing that I got for tour. I know I went on tour, yeah, I haven't mentioned it enough. It's kind of wintry. It's just this bodysuit. So it's a nice little vinyl bodysuit. It's got no sleeves, so I guess you could say it's somewhere in that sense. It's got a collar. It's like a cargo one. So it's got like, it's not actually real pockets. It's just pretend pockets, which I hate, but they look nice, so... We'll, we'll give them that and uh, we've got the clips at the bottom just zips all the way so then you can have it all the way up you can have it showing a little bit of coverage however you want it um but yeah i just thought it was really nice i have a feeling it was like 22 pounds oh it was 20 pounds it was really comfy probably would be a bit too hot for summer now but it's pretty thin the next thing we have is from ice work first i literally have one thing from ice work first oh my god i just realized i forgot to bring the miss selfish dress home that's so tragic. I'll just use that picture of it. It's really nice. I'm gonna link it down below. My mum bought it for me and I really like it. So I'm editing this at uni, so I've actually got the dress at uni. So basically, this is just a nice, cute dress from Miss Selfridge. It's black and white floral pattern. It's like a milk made again, but it's got a little tie in the middle. Just looks cute, I guess. Um, I think it's size six. Yeah, it's size six from the petite. So it's actually quite short. Like. It is a little bit short for me, so I reckon if you're 5'4 and above, I wouldn't really get the petite range from Miss Selfridge. Um, but it is really nice. It is a really quite thin material as well. Frilled hem at the bottom, which is really cute again. I'll put the price on the screen. Okay. So, next thing I got from I saw it first, it's just this belt. It's like a take on the off white belt. I'm pretty sure this was £5. Like, Five pounds. It's so sick. I set a picture that I have a picture on my Instagram where I'm wearing it and I kind of like the outfit. It was kind of cool. But yeah, it just says like warning, security. It's really good for when you have a plain black outfit or say if you did have neon in the outfit, like it just ties it together a bit. So many girls I know always get jeans and it's too big on the waist and small on the thighs and whatever. So like just belts are always handy for stuff like that. But yeah, I really like this. So the next place I went to was Miss Guided. Right. This top. It's so nice. I have not worn this top yet, which is really, really sad. But I wore it when I was freshly fake tan and I was trying stuff on and like I hadn't put deodorant on. So I got pink sweat patch marks. So I washed it again and I put fabric conditioner on it and it said it washed clothes. It has stained the top pink. I don't know if you can see. Why is it done now? So I've brought it home and hopefully my mum can, actually my dad does the washing. So hopefully my dad, can sort it out, but uh, it's really, really cute. I'm still gonna show you and try it on, even though it's stained pink. I just love the frill hem. It's such a nice, like, casual top that you could literally wear every day. It's ribbed as well. It's not a thin material. It's actually kind of like, it's not knitted, but you know what I mean by like knitted material. It's actually, I don't know if it's because I got too small a size, but it's actually really cropped. Like, when I put it on, it does come up to like, just under my boob and i actually think that's flattering on me because i have quite big ribs it was probably a size six it was yeah size six yeah it's really not that cropped on the girls so i definitely just got the wrong size so this was 12 pounds i'd say let's go because it's quite thick the next thing is another top i've got loads of tops and i've had so many compliments on this top i actually love it so it's basically a square squarish neckline the sleeves come up like at a right angle sort of thing and they're 
not like puffy, they're just a tiny bit over the shoulder. But it's because it's elasticated throughout the day, this does tend to get a bit tight. I've got a six again, so maybe I'm just thinking I'm skinnier than I am. Yeah, this did get quite tight around the other day, and I actually wore it out one night and I got like a line. Um, around where I tanned, which was pale. So that was a bit embarrassing the next day. It's quite cropped again. It's got little like black button detailing. And then it's got sort of cups around the chest area. Oh, it's milk made. I forgot that's that's what it's called. So this was 18 pounds. I really like it. It's really good quality. Like it's, it's really, it's like stretchy material as well. Although the material doesn't feel like it should be stretchy. It actually does have a bit of give, which is really nice. So we have a final item. I actually need to put the belt back on these, but oh my God. Oh, I love. They really need an iron, like a big fat iron. But these are just some gorgeous sand flared cargo trousers. If you've seen my last vid, you will actually see me wearing these. I literally love them so you know what? I can't bother to put this on here now, but I love the seat belt buckle detail belt. Like, oh, I just love that. I think it's so cool. Some of my friends weren't keen, but I think it's sick. And it's great because a lot of trousers, the belt is attached, so that's a plus. The only thing is annoying that I need to iron this down because for some reason it's like just chilling up here. These go very creased. That's the only thing I would say. You need to constantly be ironing them because they don't have back pockets and I kind of hate when trousers don't have back pockets. But I guess they have these big ones to make up for it. They're quite thin as well, so they're quite nice for summer. They kind of remind me of like safari pants. These were £30 and I'm pretty sure I must have got these in the petite. Oh, I've got them in a four. I've got them in a petite size four. No wonder they're so small. They're really short. I'm like five four for anyone that has reference, but no one's ever said, like, I've worn them out a couple times now, no one's ever been like, oh, they, like my mates would tell me, they'd be like, oh, they're a bit short, don't you think? I'd get petite if you're like five four and under. And that's the last item of the haul. So I really do hope you did enjoy this haul. If you did like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, because summer I'm going to have so many more videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!